Hi friends, I am expecting all of you in a good health and good spirit. Today I am going to show, uh, show you a, a portrait demo which was conducted in the Madras Fine Arts College Painting Department as an invited uh, guest. I, I have been asked to make a talk and portrait presentation. You can watch this presentation. The portrait is first started with a oil sketch. I have used the blue or the copalt blue oil color to sketch the portrait. First, the portrait should be kept in a good lighting, but there they have arranged uh, in the proper lighting and an artificial light also been used to highlight the model's face. The model is uh, in a dark complex which I chose to paint. So you have to divide the um, light on the face of the model as light, medium and dark. In the light also, lights and uh, other dark stains are there. And in the uh, medium also, that is in shade, there also light dark is there. In the dark also, light, dark and the deepest dark, we call it depth as we call the highest light in the light say highlight so you have to first watch how the models light and uh, shade is working out then you mix the tint being the model is in dark complex i have used umber ochre and slightly vermilion slight touch of uh, crimson and along with white for the light side and the middle side that is in dark slightly darker version of the same tints but slightly you can use the turquoise uh, green and the cerulean blue uh, in the middle tints in the dark also same the darker version of the Umber along with uh, purple and some deep violets can also be used to make the dark. So we need not use black for dark. There also you can go for the greens and blues in the darker areas and you have to note down the reflections. The reflections may be in cobalt blue or cobalt blue grey or violet greys. These are the color schemes which I have used in this uh, painting that you can see while I am taking the colors and applying it gradually. Next part is the drapery. According to the um, drapping the sari or the costume which the model has you can choose the colors in that light and dark and uh, and middle tones and the foldings while doing the clothes you have to spend some time to understand the folds the <coughs> i mean frills or the silky or matte area of the uh, clothes and coming to the background, you have to use the background should be more compatible or harmonious to the subject, to the portrait. The general uh, theme is no suppose if not a very specific background or in a room or something is required, you can go for the tints which are all used in the uh, face 
those colors no can be made into a tint and you can apply uh, in the background according to the light and dark condition of the face the background should not be a flat surface that also should have uh, depths volumes like that so that should go harmoniously along with the uh, portrait
so you have seen the portrait being completed the main things i want to tell about this is the good lighting for the model if you are painting from the live so this portrait is done by done uh, with a live model so the while observing the portrait i mean face you have to understand the planes of the face according to the planes you are giving the light medium and dark so in that more tonal values more colors should be used whether it is very uh, fair complex or dark complex anything but more colors only will make the portrait very uh, interesting and colorful so you have seen all these things if you like my presentation you can like share and subscribe we will see in the next video Com upcoming videos will give more insight and information so keep sketching and keep painting